Well, we're going to continue our team coverage of today's snow with meteorologist Corey Thompson. So let's talk about snow totals. A big question I know you guys always get whenever snow falls. What do totals look like? And why is there such a variation when it doesn't seem to be that far away? Yeah, which does happen from time to time. So let's get right. into what the numbers are first. Totals across eastern Iowa range from as much as 8 inches in Iowa City go down to 2.2 in Waterloo. So that is a pretty big difference. That's a decent distance in terms of geography, though. But notice between Iowa City and Cedar Rapids, which is not that far down the road, 4.3 inches in Cedar Rapids. Now, of course, these totals are preliminary. These have been coming in through the day. Sure. We've had some additional snow since some of these numbers have come in. We'll have more clearer final totals later this evening. But there's just a lot of snow out there, especially in the Interstate 80 quarter. Ladora got seven inches. Washington, though, three. B-Town, Wisconsin, which is in Grant County in South mm -hmm. Wisconsin, just one inch. So it's been a bit of a variance in impacts across the entire area. The heaviest snow bands set up from around Omaha to south of Des Moines to south of Cedar Rapids. These are estimated snowfall totals, just kind of shaded by color with the pinks being heaviest. And it's this area right here between Cedar Rapids and Iowa City that shows that bigger discrepancy between about four to six inches to six to eight, even some isolated higher totals possible before we're said and done. So let's go back to midnight. Sure. We're both asleep, I hope. I was we're, asleep. <laughs> I was not, unfortunately. But snow was falling already in Iowa City at that point, and then it just continued to fall. It just kind of stayed right parked over Johnson mm. County, almost like a training thunderstorm. Meteorologist Joe Winters related it to that earlier, but then notice it kind of spreads out. We still have bands of snow in the morning hours but it was that overnight period that mm. really made the difference for those higher totals. Okay, so this wasn't a one-size-fits-all type of snowstorm, mm -hmm. but with this fresh snow overall, where do we stand on snowfall for the season? Most places now have caught up, if not mm. exceeded, where we normally are. So it's really Iowa City that is still playing catch-up. Even today's snow, they're falling short of about five inches or so. Cedar Rapids, Dubuque, and Waterloo all at least a little bit above normal. Cedar Rapids and Dubuque by about an inch and Waterloo just over that. Again, these are preliminary mm -hmm. totals, non-official. We added the snowfall reports we've had to the seasonal totals to get to this point. So we will still have more information on this, but we've caught up. I'm shocked by that Cedar Rapids number personally. Yeah, well, similar to last week, we, we've gotten in a habit of this. Um, second Thursday in a row, we've had to move snow mm -hmm. and it's important to move it as soon as you're able because the temperatures tonight are going to have an impact on whatever left. Yeah, two reasons why it's a good idea to shovel tonight versus tomorrow morning, for example. One, like you said, the temperature is dropping. Mm -hmm. Even though snow is a bit fluffier, one, there's a lot of it. And two, any little compression on it will probably melt a little bit. It'll get heavier. It'll be harder to move tomorrow. Secondly, it's going to be below zero tomorrow morning. Do it when it's warmer, when the winds will be still a little bit strong, but not as cold. Sure. It'll feel better doing it tonight than tomorrow. There's so many reasons to not procrastinate, and yet so many do, including myself. Thanks. Corey, thanks.